AI eats data. It needs it to survive. But most enterprises today don't accept that their data is a mess. Is your organization thinking about leveraging artificial intelligence? How easy is it? Hear from the CEO of Max Kelson, who's leading the charge on this episode of Tomorrow's Tech. I'm Ananya Dhyani, and here with you today is Nicholas Terkelson Terry. Nick is the co founder and CEO of Max Kelson, a leading Australian artificial intelligence and machine learning solutions company, which works with various organizations, including Domino's, Genesis Care, and the Queensland Medical Institute of Research. Welcome, Nick. It's a pleasure to be here. Nick, how do you think workplaces and businesses of tomorrow will leverage AI and machine learning? Can you share some examples where companies like Max Kelson, customers of them, are applying them uniquely today? Absolutely. I think that businesses today need to recognize that AI and ML is already here. They're already using AI and ML every day. And actually, for businesses, the opportunity is how are they going to use AI and ML to make them more competitive and them more efficient? It's the use cases that are specific to what they do that really make a big difference. That's true. For example, we work with Domino's to predict orders before they happen. This allows stores to deliver faster, it allows them to roster staff better. All in all, Domino's can provide a much better customer experience thanks to the use of AI and machine learning. It is fascinating how beneficial AI is, which leads me to my next question. At Max Kelson, how do you build a data strategy to scale AI within an enterprise? The data strategy is vital. AI eats data, it needs it to survive. But most enterprises today don't accept that their data is a mess and acceptance is vital. To build a data strategy that actually supports new use cases, you need to start with data literacy. And data literacy is everyone's responsibility. It can't just be for the data engineering team to know what the data means. It needs to be every single person in the organization. Once you have literacy, you need to focus on quality. The data has to be high quality and people have to have a shared understanding of what every single piece of data actually means. Once you have high quality data, you need to govern that data. User privacy, user consent is critically important to attach to your data so that you're using it in the right way and you have the right controls on it. Underpinning all of this is data platform. So data platform allows you know, scalable use of data across the enterprise and getting those technical platforms right is critically important to the success of the organization. That's a very vital insight. Now, when it comes to the application of AI, What do you think are going to be the key developments in Australia over the next 12 to 24 months? Well, Australia can either be a buyer or a builder of AI. If we're a buyer, we're just going to send our economic profits offshore. We need to be a builder of AI. And to be a builder of AI, we need to look at applying AI to the sectors that we already have great competitive advantage in. For example, Australia has an incredible med tech and life sciences sector, and we can apply AI and machine learning there to develop new diagnostics or new therapeutics for patients. Another example is our resources sector, where we already have great technological innovation in mining. We can apply our expertise there to build things like autonomous trucks, you know, joint IP that we can export to the world, which is really exciting. But to do this, you know, we need the industry to be focused on those Um, use cases which are going to make a big difference and we need the government to support the industry to grow and to be able to export to the world. Sounds like Australia is clearly on the right track. So Nick, are there any more thoughts that you would like to offer our audience? Absolutely. The first thought is that AI machine learning is just software. It's it's another way of doing software, a paradigm shift, if you will. Um, And what we need to do to make sure that we actually see the benefits of AI machine learning is do software engineering really well, good product management, good engineering principles. These are the things that make scalable AI systems a reality. Secondly, we've talked a lot in this interview about what is happening now, but what's really exciting is what's gonna happen in the next couple of years. And for decision makers, it's now is the time to invest. AI machine learning in the enterprise needs a leadership mandate to be successful. And now is the time for that mandate to come. I agree with you there, Nick. Thanks for sharing your perspective, Nick, and thank you for joining us on the show today. Thank you for having me. To our viewers, if you want to stay on the forefront of how AI and machine learning are changing the game, join the conversation and follow us on Tomorrow's Tech LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram channels. And let us know in the comments below an example of how do you think AI can be implied positively in your industry. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Tomorrow's Tech.
Tomorrow's Tech, presented by 3Digital.